In this video, we're going to solve the differential equation, y double prime minus y prime equals x cubed for polynomial y. So it would be nice if we could substitute y equals ax cubed plus bx squared plus cx plus d, but it, y doesn't appear in the original equation, so the smallest power you have is x squared. So now we need to substitute y equals ax to the fourth plus bx cubed plus cx squared plus dx and then finally plus e, let's just say. So y prime, differentiating this, will be 4a x cubed plus 3b x squared plus 2cx plus d. So we lost e. So y double prime will be the derivative of y prime, which is 12a x squared plus 6b x plus 2c, and we lose d. Okay, so we have y prime and y double prime. And you know y prime, the highest power is x cubed, so it's good. So we can substitute this in. So let's substitute y double prime. So this is 12a x squared plus 6b x plus 2c minus y double pri y prime. So that would be, make the negative sign for every term. So that'd be minus 4a x cubed minus 3b x squared minus 2c x minus d. Okay, and that's equal to x cubed. So what's so we're gonna, so x cubed is multiplied by one, and then we have zero x squared plus zero x plus zero. Okay, so now let's group the x cubed terms together. So that, that that's just negative four a x cubed. Now let's group the x squared terms together. That will just be twelve a, and then minus three b, times x squared. Now let's do the x terms together. So that would just be 6b, then minus 2c times x. And then finally for the, the constant term, this will just be 2c minus d. And it's equal to x, 1 times x cubed plus 0 times x squared plus 0x plus 0. So now we have that negative 4a equals 1. We have that 12a minus 3b equals 0. We have that 6b minus 2c equals 0 because they're all 0 terms except x cubed. And finally, 2c minus d equals 0. So negative 4a equals 1 tells us that a is minus 1 fourth. Plugging that in to this equation, 12 times negative 1 fourth is minus 3. Minus 3b equals 0. And what b value satisfies this, that would be minus 3b equals 3, so b is minus 1. So now plugging this into this equation for c, you get negative 6 minus 2c equals 0. So negative 2c equals 6, or, or c, excuse me, c equals minus 3. Now finally, substituting in this into the last equation, and let's put the result over here. 2 times negative 3 is minus 6, minus d equals 0. So d is minus 6. So now that we have that y prime, so originally we have y prime equals 4ax cubed. So that would be just x cubed. Um, so a yeah, is minus 1 fourth, so that would just be minus x cubed, excuse me. Now b is negative 1, so this would be, just be minus 3x squared. C is minus 3, so that would just be minus 6x. And then D is minus 6. So that would just be another minus 6. Okay. Right? Yep. So now Y is the integral of this. So the Y will just be minus 1 fourth X to the fourth power minus X cubed minus 3X squared minus 6X plus some constant K. And that is the end of the video. Hope you liked it.